Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, Neurologist from Rajamandri, Andhra Pradesh, India. I am also the medical author of the book Focused Neurology. My email is sriklpm at gmail.com. Today we are going to talk about a very very interesting topic, Optic Neuritis. Optic Neuritis, Cranial Nerves Part 12. Optic Neuritis. What is Optic Neuritis? Inflammation of the optic nerve is Optic Neuritis. Inflammation of the optic nerve is Optic Neuritis. Optic Neuritis is often associated with multiple sclerosis and can be an early sign of the disease. Optic Neuritis generally cause marked visual impairment, central scotomas, loss of color perception and an afferent pupillary defect. And therefore, if there are symptoms of visual impairment, central scotomas, loss of color perception and afferent pupillary defect, we should always suspect optic neuritis. Diseases of the optic nerve head are due to either inflammation, demyelination, ischemia or compression. So the diseases of the optic nerve are due to either inflammation, demyelination, ischemia or compression. Optic neuritis and anterior ischemic optic neuritis are the two common conditions that cause impaired vision and disc edema and are usually unilateral. So, optic neuritis and anterior ischemic optic neuritis are the two common conditions that cause impaired vision and disc edema and are usually unilateral unlike the papilledema of the raised intracranial tension which are usually bilateral. Inflammation or demyelination of the optic nerve occurs in a variety of conditions especially in multiple sclerosis. Color vision loss usually parallels acuity loss but in optic neuritis the loss of color vision may be more severe than expected for the loss of acuity so in optic neuritis color vision is more affected than the visual acuity visual loss in optic neuritis occurs suddenly and tends to progress over one to two weeks with substantial recovery over two to twelve weeks so Unlike ischemic neuropathy where the recovery is minimal, the visual loss in optic neuropathy tends to recover over 2 to 12 weeks, a very important clinical point. So visual loss in optic neuritis occurs suddenly like a vascular pathology and it tends to progress over 1 to 2 weeks but unlike vascular pathology there is a substantial recovery over 2 to 12 weeks in optic neuritis, eye pain is usually present and absence of pain suggests a non-inflammatory type of optic neuropathy. Again a very very important concept. Inflammatory optic neuropathy usually presents with eye pain and the absence of pain suggests a non-inflammatory type of optic neuropathy. In neuromyelitis optica, there are lesions of optic nerves and the spinal cord. Anterior ischemic optic neuropathy. Anterior ischemic optic neuropathy is the most common syndrome of optic nerve ischemia and the most common optic neuropathy in adults over 50 after glaucoma. In anterior ischemic optic neuropathy, the microangiopathy produces occlusion of the short posterior ciliary arteries and infarction of all or part of the disc. Visual loss is sudden painless, non-progressive and generally does not improve. So these are the conditions wherein we can, these are the points wherein we can differentiate anterior ischemic optic neuropathy from optic neuro neuritis like multiple sclerosis. The visual loss is sudden, there is no pain because there is no inflammation. It is sudden because it is vascular, non-progressive so there is no improvement unlike the optic neuritis of multiple sclerosis and generally does not improve. 
anterior ischemic optic neuropathy is due to disease involving the posterior ciliary arteries, not the central retinal artery and is divided into two forms, arteritic and non-arteritic. Arteritic anterior ischemic optic neuropathy most commonly complicates giant cell arteritis, a history of headache, jaw claudication and scalp tenderness is very suspicious of giant cell arteritis. The non-arteritic form of anterior ischemic optic neuropathy, uh, anterior ischemic optic neuropathy is most often caused by microvasculopathy related to hypertension, diabetes, tobacco use and atherosclerosis. In contrast to optic neuropathy, the visual loss in anterior ischemic optic neuropathy is usually permanent. In contrast to optic neuropathy where there could be a recovery of vision over 2 to 12 weeks period, the visual loss in anterior ischemic optic neuropathy is usually permanent. Optic nerve compression. It is important to distinguish optic neuropathy from compressive lesions of the optic nerve. One characteristic feature of compressive optic neuropathy is that the condition continues to progress often insidiously, slowly. Optociliary shunt vessels. Optociliary shunt vessels. The large abnormal appearing veins on the disc surface because of collateral venous drainage between the retinal and ciliary venous systems known as the optociliary shunt vessels may provide a clue to a compressive lesion. So the triad of progressive visual loss, optic atrophy and optociliary shunt vessels is highly suggestive of optic nerve compression. So what are the various causes of optic neuropathy? Optic neuritis, ischemic optic neuropathy, optic nerve compression, diabetic papillopathy, toxins, tobacco, alcohol, ambulopia, drugs, nutritional deficiency like B12, optic nerve infiltration, hereditary optic neuropathy and glaucoma. These are all the usual causes of optic neuropathy. So these are all the important concepts of optic neuritis. I hope you have enjoyed listening to my lecture as much as I have enjoyed delivering it. Important concepts of Concepts of Neurology, I put in a question and answer format in the book called Focus Neurology written by me. It is available online from all leading booksellers including Amazon. If you are interested, it could be bought online. So these are all the fascinating concepts of optic neuritis. If you have liked it and enjoyed it, please like, share and do subscribe to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. Thank you. Bye.